Hey, what's up? Jeremy Kenny here with TheAwarenessRevolution.com. I'm going to make this quick video to explain why we blindly trust government and why we basically believe what we're told. And the short answer is because of the school system. Now, let me give you the long answer. <laughs> the school system, but before I get into it, I just want to make sure we're clear. I don't mean teachers. This is not an attack on individuals, okay? So if you're a teacher or you know a teacher or something like that, don't get offended. It has nothing to do with the teachers. It has to do with the system. Most of the teachers think that what they're doing is the best thing. They believe what they're doing is right. And their hearts, I think, for the most part, are in the right place. But the school system is inherently... Um, well, I guess I shouldn't say inherently because it's been systematically um, infiltrated by people who don't have the children's best interests at heart. The way I see the school system, it's like a manufacturing plant to take unique individuals and mold them into cookie cutter people that the social engineers deem necessary for the system that we live in. So they basically make them into workers and soldiers. Not necessarily successful human beings that have their own unique destiny and, you know, aid them in the tools and resources necessary to fulfill that unique dream, that unique vision that they have for themselves. So what school does is it basically requires you to regurgitate information that your teacher tells you. And the teacher is just a government agent. You know, let's be honest, the teacher works for the government. These are government schools. Now, there are private schools and a lot of them are crap, but there are some good schools out there. And I would love to start my own. That's another topic. But um, we aren't taught to question what we're told in school. The teachers have the right answers and they give us multiple choice and the one that they say is correct, that's the right one. And the rest of them are incorrect. The world isn't so black and white like that. There's different interpretations of history. There are debates. We don't go over both sides of the debates in school. It's like, this is the answer, everything else is wrong. And if you do enough of that, then you can graduate that grade. The next grade, you can graduate high school. You can go to college. And this is the game that they play. In school, we don't have to verify what the teachers tell us in most cases. Like in math, that's pretty easy. You know, 2 plus 2 equals 4 and so on. But, you know, with other things, you know, like history, we aren't taught to research these things and see for ourselves. We aren't taught the different views and stuff like that um, because things aren't as settled as what we're led to believe in school. So, you know, that's where we get this idea of blindly just believing this authoritative figure. So, we trust government because in school we're taught to trust government teachers. Another reason why we trust them so much is because we basically outsource the most important job in the world of raising our kids, we outsource that job to the school system. We let the school system raise them from like the age of 5 to 12, and then if they go on to college, which is considered a good thing, it continues to raise them past the, the, the age of 18. So even just five, ages 5 to 18, that's a long time to be in the hands of a government school system. Which, by the way, um, look up Charlotte Isabeth's work. The, she wrote the book, The Deliberate Dumbing Down of America. You can find her talks on YouTube, and you can even find her book for free, available for download, on her website. And she explains a lot of the hidden history of how the school system came to be. Also look up John Taylor Gatto. He was School of the Year for New York. And um, he wrote books like The Secret, Underground History of America, something like that, and others too. So look into that work so you'll understand why I view the school system the way that I do. And um, 
I view it as an indoctrination camp, and that's because it's well documented that this whole thing. I won't get into that, but th there's some breadcrumbs if you want to go that route. You can dig deep down, dig down that rabbit hole as deep as you'd like. As kids, when we're going through school, we pretty much think that this is what we need to do to be successful in life. So we go along with the program. Besides, if we don't, our parents will usually kick our butts. But the thing is, is when we get older as adults, we realize that we don't really need to know the things that they teach us in school. In fact, I just recently took an eighth grade social studies test and got a 40 on it. So the questions that they had on there were just, they were very trivial. They have no, there's no necessity for knowing that, you know. Um, it's just to fill up your head with a bunch of nonsense and waste your time when you could actually be learning and growing and experiencing life. So that whole thing gets robbed from you through the school experience. Um, so I'm, I'm digressing because I can go on forever about the school system, and I will in future videos. So make sure to subscribe so that way you get other pieces of the puzzle in future. And if you like this so far, give me a thumbs up, guys. I appreciate that. So... We get older and we say things like, you know, most of what I know I learned out of school. You know, I didn't like learning until I got out of school. Things like that. I mean, that's, I hear that all the time. That's the way that I am. So, you know, the thing is, is if we realize that school is less than what we thought it was, then, you know, usually we send our kids to school for the convenience, you know, we get the break or we have to work. So it's kind of like a necessity. We work while our kids are in school. So, you know, we just do it because I'm like, oh, we, everyone does it and we go along with it. But the thing is, is once you fall in that trap and you have sent your kids to school, it's hard to let yourself entertain the idea that the school system could be harming your kids more than it's helping them. And it's hard to think that they could be teaching your kids a bunch of wrong stuff because then you're a bad parent for sending your kids to the school to be to have their head filled up with a bunch of nonsense that they're never going to use. And it's really depriving them from a normal life. So instead of acknowledging that, we just ignore it. We stick our heads in the sand and um, we go along with the program as adults sending our kids through here. So that's why we believe what we're told because that's what school trains us to do and that's why we blindly trust government because that's what school does. And I think that's actually more of the purpose of school than it is to educate kids with the essential um, things that they should know to be a, a optimal functioning human being on this planet. You know, we don't learn how to grow food. We don't learn really much about nutrition. I remember thinking health class was so boring in school. Um, there are a lot of things uh, that we don't learn in school. We don't learn really how to manage money. We don't learn about entrepreneurship. We don't learn, uh, we don't learn our rights. Like when you're driving on a car, you know, you get pulled over, what, you know, what can you do? What can't you do? Um, how, how the court system works. We don't learn that stuff. We don't learn how mortgages work. We don't learn, um, the, the landlord and tenant rights, you know, whether you're going to be a landlord or a tenant, you know, this pretty much affects everyone. Um, and, we don't learn that. We don't learn how taxes work. We don't learn all. I mean, you can get you can get put in jail for uh, uh, ta messing up your taxes. You can, you know, when you're on the road, you can get um, they can pull you over and all kind. Of, if you don't act the right way, they'll pull you out of the car and beat you up and all this stuff. And we are never taught how to deal with these sociopaths with guns and guys to call for backup. You know, they're just driving around <laughs> looking for something some reason to pull you over trying to you know desperately trying to throw you in a cage we don't learn how to prevent that from happening 
Um, so it's no wonder why it's happening to so many different people and why so many people um, struggle with, with life. It's because school doesn't prepare you for the real world. I hope you're getting a lot out of this video. So like I said, give me a thumbs up, share it with some other people because I know a lot of people um, don't have this view and we've got to get the discussion going. And make sure to subscribe because I've got lots more videos coming in the future. And if you haven't already, go ahead and check out some of my older videos. I've got a lot of them on a bunch of different subjects and I think that you're in for a treat because there's probably about something for anyone and you're sure to learn lots more. I hope to see you again in a future video.